Hi, this is Monica Burns with Morally Design Services. This is a short tutorial on how to add a new user to your back end of your WordPress site. So let's get started. Here on the left hand side you'll see users. Uh, when you highlight it, it'll have a small pop-out menu here. Select Add New. The first two items, username and email, are required. For my purposes, it would be appropriate for you to use Moroli. It's easier for me to type. And then my business email, Moroli Design Services at gmail.com. If you want, you can fill in my first name, last name, and my website. It's not necessary. I need to have administrator roles. Unlike subscriber, contributor, author, editor, all of those roles come with different permissions. The highest one other than administrator is editor, but the editor is not allowed to see your back end in terms of what your plugins are. You cannot add a plugin, not able to look at your customizations in terms of your appearance. You can't customize anything. So for me to do any kind of work for you, it will require administrative privileges. So once you have everything added in here and you've selected the appropriate role for the user, in my case administrator, just click add new user. Once you've added your new user, it will show up in your dashboard here. You aren't able to see anything in this particular dashboard because I have, uh, for security purposes, hidden information. If you have WordFence installed as a security plugin on your website, you need to consider the fact as to whether or not you're using the two-factor authentication feature and what your settings are for that particular security function. If you already have designated roles um, that need to use two-factor authentication, it may be that you might have a slight glitch where you would have to turn off the uh, require 2FA for all administrators until I can access and set up my own two-factor authentication using uh, a QR code specific to my phone and then we just turn it back on and click save. So that's all there is to that. So again, just to set up a new user, just simply click add new, fill in the appropriate information with your username, email, uh, and again, first name, last name, and website are not required. They're just simply to help you identify a particular user more easily. And for my usage, it would need to be an administrator role. For other people, uh, you would make a determination based on what it is that they're going to be doing for you. But for my purposes to help you out, I need to be an administrator in order for me to take a look at your customizations for your theme, be able to edit a theme um, if necessary, install plugins, etc. So once you have everything all filled out here, simply click add new user. It will take you back to the all users screen. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.